Hello, this is Daryl Webster bringing you another Observe Change within the Office 365 platform. Uh, we were having a discussion with Adri in the Office 365 network on Yammer. Adri's from the product group uh, and he was telling us about some changes coming to Office 365's group files. There is now some parity between the OneDrive for Business experience and the experience with groups files. So we're going to have a look at that now. In our first release tenant, uh, we have a group called Ops, and you'll see the UI has definitely changed. It's now got that familiar toolbar that we started to see in OneDrive for Business with a simplified experience of uh, working with documents and files, and um, that will change depending on what we have uh, selected within our group's files. I'm going to create a folder just to start with, um, and we do see something that isn't quite the same as OneDrive for Business. We can't invite people to the folder as we're creating it. Uh, but let's create that folder and we'll just bring some documents across. And the drag and drop experience of course is still there. Uh, I could drag them into the root of the files repository, uh, but I'm going to hover over the folder and drag them directly into the folder and see them upload into there. You see the, the queue there and of course that we can see it's in progress, it's done now, and we can see the documents that have been uploaded directly to the folder. Now from this experience too, as I select the documents, I now can copy or move them around within my folder structure. I'm going to make a copy of these documents, and as I do that, I get to traverse the folder structure within the group's files experience. In fact, from here I can also create a new folder. I'm going to call that folder 2 because I'm feeling really imaginative. Uh, as I create that folder and select it, I'm going to copy some documents into that folder. And we'll go back up to the files area. We can see folder 2. And we can see the documents that are available within folder 2. So that's really quite an improvement. Uh, it's not the cumbersome experience we used to have where we had to, we could drag documents into a folder, but we couldn't really get them back up and out to uh, another area of our folder structure. This is good. One thing I was looking for was uh, a change in the file experience. As I select a file, I've got a few other things that I can do from the toolbar, and you'll see the identical changes, or identical choices rather, underneath the ellipsis menu. Or if we've right clicked on that document, um, we could get those same choices. Now, one thing that we uh, don't see anymore as we click on the ellipsis menu is the preview of the document, and also a box to be able to copy the URL directly to the document. Um, so if we select that document, we can either choose details from the flyout or from the toolbar, and we'll have a details pane that opens up now. That's where our preview's gone, um, but it also gives us some other information about who it's been shared with, uh, recent activity that's occurred with the document, and a few other things about the document too, the path and um, type of document it is. Uh, but still no area to copy the, the link to that document. Uh, we'll have a look at the sharing options now and see what we can do from here. Uh, as we share the document, we do get a familiar looking experience, but here's the question. Um, when I uh, was creating files and folders within my group's experience, I expected it was just members that would have access to these files and folders. Now with this new parity of, of the experience with OneDrive for Business, I can invite a person that I know is not part of the group um, and I will uh, give them permission to explicitly uh, work on this document, either edit or, or um, view, of course. So now I can share that document, uh, but this person is not a member of the group. Um, and if I go up a level, we can also seemingly do the same thing with a folder. Um, so while we can't do it within the folder creation experience, I can share the folder with a specific person. Jake Higgins. And we can also assign Jake edit rights to the folder even though he's not a member of the group. Um, so this this is a positive thing. It means that we can bring in certain people to, to be able to co-author and work on content without having to be a member of the group. Um, and we can see clearly from the details pane who it is shared with and we'll see that shortly as we invite Jake in. One other option there too is we're sharing a folder. Share everything in this folder um, even items with unique permissions. So we are um, over, you know, adding Jake to each of the, the items within that folder and saying Jake can access that document or that item. 
So as we share that, we'll be able to see the sharing permissions update eventually, and we'll see Jake um, added to uh, that experience. Let's just turn the details pane off and hurry this along. If we turn that back on, um, we see Jake Higgins has been added to who the folder has been shared with. Another good experience there, and a, an improvement to this um, uh, to the group's files experience. One final thing that I'll show you as I close off um, that will turn off the details pane and go into a folder where we've got some of this content. We've got a couple of views that are available to us. So um, we can turn on the thumbnails view where you can get quite a rich preview of what's in the document. So that's another way to, to do it. We can turn that on rather than depending on the, the preview and the details pane. Um, and if we turn that back over to our details view, we've got a sort view so I can change how it's been sorted. Um, from uh, the column as well, I still have that experience of being able to filter and just show the um, maybe just documents that I've modified. Of course, I'm the only one that's uploaded it, so it's not the best way to demo it. But if there are other authors there too who have modified it, you would see the content has been filtered and we can clear that filter too. So great improvements there and the groups files experience is getting much better. Um, we can still get to the documents that are shared with us. So if you have shared something from a SharePoint site or you have uh, shared it from your OneDrive, then you will see either folders or files um, appear in there too. And if you're um, you know, not sure about this experience, then you can return back to that classic um, groups files experience, if you can call it classic. It's only been around for about a year. Um, but you can return to that experience and, and still use some of the tools in the ways that you used to. So that was another observed change in Office 365. Uh, let's see how the community responds and uh, the feedback that they give about how this experience is within groups files. Thanks for watching.